So for me, it inspired me to live an inspired life. It's just awesome, you know, it's, it reminds me of growing up and why my family came here in the first place. It's just amazing family time and it's just beautiful, we love it. So you guys know me because actually I grew up in Las Vegas and I grew up snowboarding in Brinehead. I'm, um, I went on to be a Paralympic bronze medalist in Sochi, but it all began here in Brinehead. And then I went from the Paralympics to Dancing with the Stars, almost won Dancing with the Stars, came in second place. And um, now I'm in Brinehead enjoying it with my family. This is where I fell in love with snowboarding. This is where I fell in love with the mountains. And then I went on to be a professional snowboarder and just bought a house in the mountains. And so this inspired, Brinehead inspired me, obviously. Well, I actually, so I grew up camping, active, outdoors, up in Brinehead, snowboarding, skiing, and at the age of 19, I ended up losing both of my legs uh, below the knees to something called bacterial meningitis. We have no idea how I got it. It's actually spread through the nose and the mouth, so somehow maybe somebody sneezed on me and that's how I got it. But um, due to this little microscopic bacteria, over the course of two and a half months, I ended up losing my spleen, I lost my kidney function, I lost the hearing in my left ear, and due to the septic shock that my body went into, I ended up losing both my legs below my knees. And I had no idea if I would snowboard again, had no idea if I'd ski again, and it became a mission to figure it out. And so I actually used to come up here, I used to create little legs with my prosthetist, that's my leg maker in Vegas, come up here, test them out, see if they would work. And eventually we found something that worked well enough to get me snowboarding again. And then my husband, Daniel, and I, we founded a nonprofit organization called Adaptive Action Sports, where we get youth, young adults, and wounded vets with permanent physical disabilities into action sports like snowboarding, skateboarding, wakeboarding, mountain biking, all of the stuff that I've always loved, all the action sports. And so now, we help train athletes, we teach athletes on a recreation level how to snowboard and do all these sports, but we also have an elite snowboard team that are made up of some wounded vets and some other athletes that have physical disabilities, and we train them to make the U.S. snowboard team. So um, it's kind of all the love, spreading the love around. <laughs>